Hi, my friends, so today we're going to be cooking the best smoked ham you've ever tasted. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Don't forget, if you use the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so in today's video, we're going to be cooking the best ham recipe you've ever tasted. To do this recipe, you can do it on the Weber Genesis, you can do it on the kettle, you can even do it on the queue. All you need is an indirect medium heat and to keep it around 180 degrees Celsius and I'll put on screen what that is in Fahrenheit. What we'll do is dive straight into it. Well, so there's a couple of things you're going to need for this recipe. So first up, you're going to need a saucepan to mix all the glazing. You're going to need a jug and a basting brush and a roasting dish to put your ham in. Get everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipe will be down there as well. So let's jump in and start making this glaze. Once well, to make our glaze, we're going to put it straight in the saucepan. So you're going to need one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of bourbon, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter of a cup of runny honey, and a quarter of a cup of maple syrup, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and a teaspoon of English mustard. So with our ham, we've just got to remove that skin. I'm going to be removing it with a knife. So you want to get the knife under the corner between the skin and the fat, and you're just going to lever it up. You can slide your hand under there in between the fat and the skin, but you want to leave as much fat on that ham as you can. So now that skin's off our ham, we're going to cut some diamond shapes in there. You just want to cut through the fat and not into the meat. At this point, before you glaze it, you can add some cloves. It's entirely up to you. So that ham is prepared, we're just going to baste it with our glaze. Right, so our baste is made, our ham's prepared and basted, so it's time to get this on the Genesis. Our ham's come off, it smells amazing. We're gonna give that around 15, 20 minutes to cool down and then we'll give it a taste test. Now don't forget everything you used in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your web products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. So as you can see that ham turned out awesome and it tastes amazing. All you've got to do is make sure you get that skin off, 
try and leave all the fat on that you can. I did cut mine off with a knife. I'm not a fan of the texture of the fat as you put your fingers in between. But what you can do is release the corner as I did and then run your fingers underneath just to release that skin and leave the fat. And it will slowly peel off the outer skin. Now with that bourbon, it gave it a nice kick of the ingredients. It tastes awesome. It's a massive hit for the family. If you try this recipe, make sure you comment down below. Let me know how you get on. If you do it, whether you do it on your Weber Kettle, the Weber Genesis, or even the Q. So again, those of you to the channel, if you find you getting value out of this content, the content showing support, or slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like it, comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. And it, and it will slowly peel off that outer skin. And it will slowly peel off, peel, peel, 